my name is Dr. Heather Addison, and yes, you have my permission to use this video throughout the world and the universe. Well, I'm very excited. Um, I think this might be the most Spring Flicks entries we've ever had. We've got a total of nine hours of content, and that includes, should I be looking at you or at the camera? Whatever you I'm going to look at the camera. Okay. We'll Hello the there, world! Can you tell me about the vibes tonight? How are you feeling? What are you looking forward to seeing? I am very, very stoked. Uh, I think the vibes are immaculate. I think it's a really great atmosphere. I think the community here is just an incredible one. You know, the vibes are immaculate, of course, you know. Everyone here is always dressed up doll. I'm just in a t-shirt and all that. We've got nine hours of programming div divided over three exciting nights, and that includes like about eight hours of films and almost an hour of bumpers. Working on projects, especially outside of the classroom, what have been some of the biggest lessons that you've learned in film this year? Um, the biggest lesson I learned this year is about time management and setting up the correct amount of time for wardrobe, for makeup, because that was a big problem with my set, <laughs> and I think it's on every set. That collaboration is super important, and communication and effective communication is extremely important. Film is a collaborating medium. You can't do it by yourself, so it's always important to just have faith in the people you're working with. and just make magic. This has been my first time ever like on a movie set doing anything so just like the fact that collaboration isn't as scary as I thought it was. It's a collaborative effort and it's so much fun when you can work together with people and drop your ego and let something grow and be pretty and beautiful together. Just like how much help you need to make a film and make it good. Like there are so many people in the credits of roommates and I didn't know half of them when we started. But I just needed to have confidence and trust myself. And like as long as I did good and I respected people, they would respect me. So definitely lost a lot of like the fear. So I've seen, I saw your name a bunch of times in the credits yesterday. Kay Fernandez is, Kay Fernandez that. What have been some of the biggest lessons that you've learned working on projects this year? Oh, definitely trusting other people. I've definitely learned that, you know, if you want something done perfectly, you got to trust other people's instincts because the ones that you have for yourself aren't always right. So definitely teamwork. Definitely learned that a lot. Prep, just the more prep, the better. Like I literally can't stress that enough. Oh, pre-production. Pre um, if you don't do your pre-production, um, that will come back to haunt you, for sure, 110%. 10 times out of 10, I pick prep, like 100%. Fix it in pre, people, don't fix it in post. Don't fix it in post, people, fix there's it in no, pre. There's no fixing it in post. So what do you think overall is the value of having an event like Spring Flicks, especially as like a yearly tradition? Um, I believe it's a great opportunity for people to come together to network and build and create and also just like take someone's idea and make it a reality so that everyone can see. Well, because it's a time of year when students can make whatever their where make things that essentially represent wherever their imagination can take them. It can be inside of class, outside of class, and then we all come together as a community. I like to think of us as the UNLV film family, and this is one of those moments during the year when we can come together and, rem and um, create memories that will hopefully last a lifetime. It is so incredibly important to show off students' work. I mean, that's why we make movies in the first place, so that we can see them and showcase them. I think that it's a really beautiful thing to bring the Las Vegas film community together um, and showcase each other's films and support each other. You know, it's definitely to spread awareness to all the you know, filmmakers, not only in you know, V, but also in just like Nevada in general. It brings like the whole student film communi community together and it's very, it's very nice. I just <laughs> remember having so much fun last year and like getting to meet so many people and I only worked on one film. It's like a networking event. Like I, I know people that are on my cruise now that I met through Spring Flicks last year. I think that it's a great way to bring together the film students here. I mean everybody in here has become friends because we work together on these sets. It's important to keep the tradition going because new people come in and the veterans can kind of teach them the ropes and then it's a process. I, I feel like it gives a lot of film students an audience that they normally wouldn't get. Like normally, yeah, you can put it on YouTube, you can put it on Vimeo or anything like that, but you don't get the visceral reactions that you would from a theater setting and from a packed theater. You get to know what, what people really think of your film and it's very, it's terrifying, but it's very validating. And I think it's so important to have these kind of events because it encourages people to continue creating. It's amazing because it gives people an opportunity to make something even on a low budget. There's a bunch of film festivals that are always around but they're pricey and you want to have production value. So getting a chance to have an event like this at like a collegiate level just gives everyone the experience to just obviously gain the experience and network and just create stuff because what's wrong with creating stuff? Nothing. I'm so grateful for UNLV Film just to have Spring Flakes because it's just so hard showing your work anywhere else. 
So I think it's just the perfect place to just kind of see that. And I also feel like it's a great way to showcase all your work. I mean, it kind of gives you a taste of what it'll be like out there when we're working in the film industry. And it's just a great opportunity to show our stuff. We need more events like this, especially. Also, I have to ask about the look. You know, we are on the red carpet. I have to ask about the look. What was your the inspiration for the look tonight? Who are you wearing? Yeah, we need the deep. <laughs> the top is from my sister's closet. Um, I've never been there. My sister's closet is at yeah. the store. Um, it's very exclusive, very underground. Yeah. This is Corbin Lopez reporting in live from Spring Flakes 2023, and I wanted to give you my outfit details. Okay, this coat is my grandma's. It looks like a grandma coat. Got this from TJ Maxx, Dickies work pants, and I got these for Christmas. Balling on a budget, people. Balling on a budget. And we got to know about the look. Let me know what your what was your inspiration. What, who are you wearing? What are you feeling? Wearing, this is yeah. the Target collection. It's target probably. Collection. Yes, yeah, we're I'll balling on a budget. Okay? We are balling on a budget. Oh, yeah. We're film students. And we got to know about the look. You're always talking. Okay, 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 okay. We well, I got the corset from Potties. It's a boutique here. Uh, the skirt I got from Cider. The shirt I thrifted. My shoes are Gucci. Boom. My tights are Target. Boom. Boom. Let us know about the look tonight. What's the inspiration? Who are you wearing? The inspiration is I don't like wearing pants when I'm not on set. <laughs> Boom. Beautiful. Uh, the inspiration is uh, my dark little horror that I've got going on. Decided to do something just all black just to uh, mourn the uh, possible deaths. <laughs> awesome. Is there anything else you want to add or anything you want to tell to the people? You know what? If you want to film something, do it. You got an idea? Just do it because uh, who's holding you back? No one. UNLV film forever. Yay! Good luck to everybody who submitted stuff. You are all fantastic.